What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. There's our girl. There she is. That's right. Um, we got Last Jedi just um, totally just gracing everything that's all about Entertainment Weekly right now. We got two covers. We got Ray, and then, of course, we got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a.k.a. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. I mean, he does. You got to wonder, like... What's going on? Where's uh, where's Kenobi's um, Force Ghost? Has he been helping him out? But we got a ton of new uh, stills and everything. So first thing down below, I'll have all that on my site. And then of course they have, you know, they talking about reports and stuff like that. Um, first off, Ray, uh, when she find when she approaches Luke, apparently there's not really a good dynamic at first, which is going to be cool to see because she's just not having it with Luke because he's he's a grumpy old man now just been exiled on this island with uh those those creatures what are they called porgs and apparently too not just the porgs which we see right here which everybody's going I don't know but then we got the caretakers who dress up in Amish clothing <laughs> interesting stuff but when it comes to Ray and Luke uh, Ray finds a man overpowered by regret, eager to close the book on his past while living out the rest of his days on an isolated island. Basically, he, you know, he fucked up with Kylo Ren, so he's not feeling too good about that. And this is what uh, Mark Hamill said. He said, Luke made a huge mistake in thinking that his nephew was the chosen one. Everybody's the chosen one, aren't they? Um, so he invested everything he had in Kylo, much like Obi-Wan did with my character, and he portrayed and he betrayed with tragic consequences. Luke feels responsible for that. That's the primary obstacle he has to rejoining the world and his play and his place in the Jedi hierarchy. You know? It's that guilt. That feeling that you have is his fault, you know? And he didn't detect the darkness in him until it was too late. And I can't wait to see that. The flashback with the Knights of Ren and everything. That's what's going to be awesome. Really awesome, guys. And then going to uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Now, I remember hearing a while back that it was going to be a practical effect. Like Snoke was going to be full on practical. No, no. Why would they do that nowadays when they got the mocap expert, which they used in the first one? This is why it, it didn't make sense to me. I thought, well, that's kind of cool, but it sounds too elaborate, expensive, and difficult. No, he's going to be per completely mocap. <laughs> Duh. I mean, you got the mocap expert playing him. You know, Circus. Andy Circus is playing him. Why, would, why in shit would you have a practical effect? I don't understand that. So, yeah, he's going to be completely mocap, which is perfectly fine with me because it's Andy Circus. That's all that matters. So I don't know why people are freaking out. And then here is his like real red knights that he has, which are yeah, they're pretty cool. They're interesting looking. You know, I mean, um, Vader had similar knights like that, but these guys are like ready for battle, and they're like dressed up in like samurai clothing. You know, full on armor, man. That's pretty cool stuff. So, anyways, first thing down below, guys. That is all. Everything, all the Star Wars stuff will be there. Very much looking forward to it. I, uh, I think we're due for a new trailer anytime now, man. So we'll see what happens with that. But let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel, too. Follow me on the social media stuff that is floating above my head. All right. I'll talk to you later.